and today I'm going to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. So I did my morning skincare routine. I will put it right here. I'll put a little box you can click on. You can watch that now if you want and then come back to this video or you can just watch it later. I'll put a link to it down below. So to start off, my skin is pretty normal. Uh, it's normal sensitive. I used to be really combination. Now my skin, after using natural products, actually has really balanced out and I'm never really oily. I'm never really dry. It's pretty good, but I am sensitive to products. So when I try something new, my skin will definitely react to it. So if I break out, if I break out, if I get bumps, I know it's from a specific product, a specific ingredient. So it's kind of neat because now I can really tell how my skin responds to different things. Before I start, one tip for you guys is to not wait to the last second before you're going to bed to wash your face because, oh my gosh, when you are super tired, the last thing you want to do is wash your face, put on a toner, a moisturizer, like that is always the worst sounding thing in the world, like I'm there with you. So I try to wash my face, get all my makeup off before I go to bed, like a couple hours before if I can, if I remember, just because the more tired you get, the more lazy you get and you're not going to really care. So that's my one tip for you guys, just try to enjoy the process, don't like hate it, just think it's, it's you know, it's, it's good time invested in your skin. So the first step I do is to take my makeup off. I always use coconut oil, it's quick, it's easy. I use the Nature's Gate, get Nature's Gate or Nature's Way and I put it in a mason jar because it fits on my little stand that I have right next to the sink so you don't have to use a big old tub. I love these little mason jars, it's super cute. So I just scoop a little bit out of my jar and I apply it around my face first and then I apply it directly on my eyes and I really work that into my mascara, to my eyeliner just to get everything off and it'll kind of blur everything around and if you look at yourself in the mirror it's going to look crazy. So once I have that off I go in with my Cebu cleanser. This is the Seed Buckthorn Balancing Facial Cleanser and you can see this is disgusting. It has a black all over it because what I do is I have the coconut oil all around and then I go with my cleanser, scoop some out into my hand, scoop some out, pump some out into my hand, and then I go on top of the coconut oil with my cleanser. And what that does is it helps to break it up so you're not just like rubbing oil on your face. It helps to actually like take some of the oil off and just really get all the gunk out. Cleanse your skin and it feels really good. So this cleanser will not irritate your eyes at all. It's all natural. It's full of amazing ingredients. It's super hydrating. It helps to balance your skin. So then I work that in and wash my face off and you should be pretty clean then. Sometimes I will need to go back in with a little bit more coconut oil if I have a lot of eye makeup on um, and then you can use a little bit more of this but I, these two are what I use to just get everything off. The other thing that I do if I want a deep clean at night is go in with my Clarisonic. So this is the Clarisonic Mia. I keep this in my shower sometimes and then I'll switch between keeping it on my shower and then using it at night. Also for my brush heads, for my Clarisonic, I don't even use the Clarisonic brand of replacement heads. I use a cheaper one that I found on Amazon. So it's called Precision. They come in these a twin pack and they literally are the exact same thing but they are so much cheaper. And honestly that was one of the reasons why I wouldn't use my Clarisonic that often is because I hated buying the replacement heads because they're really expensive. So I found these on Amazon. Here's an old Clarisonic brush and here is the Precision head. They are pretty much identical. They attach the same. There's not much different. This one is a little, this is the normal one. It's slightly more gentle than the normal one for Clarisonic. But for the most part, it's pretty similar. They have different types too. So um, I will put a link down below to Amazon. You can get them there. They also have a website, but I just ordered mine off of Amazon. But I mean, they work the exact same and they're so cheap. So if you guys are like me and you hate buying replacement heads for your Clarisonic, definitely buy these. So once my face is clean, then I either do one of two things. One is to do my toner, my moisturizer, my serum, all the stuff that I usually do in like a typical skincare routine. That's most often what I do. Or if my skin is acting very sensitive, if it's kind of red, if I have breakouts, then I literally use one product and that's all I do. So that product is by Shea Terra Organics. It's the Argan Rosemary Facial Cleansing Oil. So it's 100% natural. It is a, I don't even know how to explain how 
cool and amazing this little oil is. So all that is in here is organic argan oil and Moroccan rosemary essential oil. So I apply this to a cotton ball and you rub it all around your face. I, I kind of go slowly because you will see when you use this, it just takes all, like sometimes I will wash my face, it feels totally clean, and then I use this and my cotton ball after using it is brown like it's kind of disgusting but kind of satisfying at the same time because you really are seeing everything that's getting off of your face so the argan oil in here is super hydrating so this will act as your moisturizer overnight and then the rosemary oil kills bacteria and it promotes cell renewal so it's like a peace of mind for your skin i swear i just it's really comforting knowing that the oil on your face is killing your bacteria it's keeping your skin super hydrated and when you wake up in the morning your skin will look really good. This product is seriously so good. I feel like I'm talking really long about this, but it's that good. It deserves a lot of attention, so I highly recommend it. So if my skin is just normal, not in bad shape or anything, I will go into the toner. This is the Shade Ter Terra Organics, same company, Moroccan Orange Blossom. It's a purifying facial water, so this is basically a toner. You can use this any skin type. This will work. It is 100% natural. And all that's in here is pure Moroccan orange blossom. So I put this on a cotton pad, cotton ball, whatever, and just rub it around my face. And it just adds a lot of hydration to my skin. It purifies my skin and it feels really refreshing and good. Then I go in with a serum. This is the same serum that I use during the day. It's the Andalou Naturals Turmeric and Sea Enlightened Serum. It's from their brightening line. This provides so much brightening to your skin. It's amazing. If you guys suffer with dull skin, dark spots, this is definitely a good product for you. It's really lightweight. It's a gel texture, so it feels really nice and hydrating on your skin, but it's not going to clog your pores. It's not going to, I, I don't know, I don't like to use products that are super rich because they don't really work with my skin. I, I like to apply light layers, so this has been a go-to serum of mine for a really long time. It just does a really good job at, you know, making your skin look Nice and bright. And I go in with the Andalou Naturals Deep Wrinkle Dermal Filler. This is from their Age Define line. A friend of mine told me about this. She found it at TJ Maxx. I think I got mine on Viacost, but if you're at TJ Maxx, definitely check their skincare because they sometimes carry Andalou Naturals or Cebu, just a couple of different random brands. So basically, I put this on um, like right here when you get those lines right there. I also put it underneath my eyes. And that's kind of, oh, and right on my forehead. Just any little fine lines that you have, put it right directly on those, and it just helps to plump that area. And it's, again, it's not super rich because I don't like products that are, like, my skin's just not at that point yet to have really rich creams. It's, they just make my skin, I don't know, sometimes I get red bumps from them. I just, they don't work with me. So this does a good job at, you know, filling out those areas, but it's not really rich and intense. And then the last step is a night cream. So this is the Andalou Naturals Heavenly Night Cream from their Thousand Roses line. This this whole line I'm really impressed with. I've tried this, I've tried the mask, which is a must. You need you need the mask. And what else have I tried? I don't know, a couple other things, but this and the mask are my favorite. The texture of these are unreal. Like the mask feels what is I don't even know what the mask it feels like frosting or something. This is kind of the same texture. It's like it's called Heavenly Night Cream. It honestly feels heavenly. I'm like I'm not even kidding. It smells of lightly. Li smells lightly of roses. It's not. It's not a really floral scent because I don't like a really powdery rose scent. This is a sweeter rose scent. It's good for sensitive skin. This whole line is really targeted at people with sensitive skin. I apply just a little bit. I just grab a little bit out of here and then apply it all over my face. I like to also bring it down to my neck and sometimes I put it on the backs of my hands just to really keep them hydrated at night. And this does a good job at keeping my skin hydrated. When I wake up in the morning, my skin doesn't feel tight. It still feels good and plump. But once again, it's not like so rich that it's going to make me break out. So that is everything that I do at night. I know this probably sounds like a ton of products to use at night, but honestly when I'm washing my face and putting everything on it takes like just a couple minutes because it's just it's quick. So I hope you guys got some good recommendations for products to try out. Uh, I will have links to everything down below if you guys want to try some out because I highly recommend every every single one of these products. I've been using oh there's one more Wait, this is the Just Natural Manuka Acne Treatment, and this is 100% natural, it's a pure oil, it has a 
bunch of oils in here. Manuka oil, tea tree oil, geranium, just a, a giant list of oils. But this concoction and blend is like magic. So I will take a little drop of this, it's in a little dropper, and I will just apply it directly onto my pimple and you'll wake up the next day. It'll either be completely gone or just pretty much almost reduced. It's crazy. I, I think I first tried this in Seattle, yes, and I haven't used anything else for my pimples. Um, I'm, I've used so much of this already. It, it's so good. So if you guys have acne, try this out. It's definitely strong smelling tea tree, but it works so well and um, it's kind of like I have to have this with me at all times. I like to take this on trips, like say you're traveling. I feel like a lot of the time when you travel, a pimple will show up and you're like, really? Of course. Um, so I have this always with me and then I can apply it overnight and usually I'm good the next day. So now that is everything that I use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me some comments down below letting me know some of your favorite brands, favorite skincare products, just so we can all get some more recommendations. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Once you have your liner on, you can kind of see more of that line that you created so you can kind of shape your shadow.